You know, I I was I was born here in Plainview. I was raised in Plainview. I've always been in Plainview, and it just it seems like it is doing nothing but getting hotter and drier and less rain yearly. It's been a tough drought. In 2010, we had like 29 inches of rain and uh, didn't think there'd ever be another poor day. In 2011, we had five inches of rain. Worst drought I'd ever seen. And 2011 was the first time we've ever had to abandon our crop and we uh, uh, had to pick and choose which, which crop we were gonna save, which crop we were gonna abandon. And uh, uh, man, that was, uh, that was like choosing which child we were gonna lose or leave behind. And, uh, and we never had to do that before. We always had enough water to make that choice. This is by far the worst I've ever seen it. It's by far the worst a bunch of people have ever seen it. Well, the other day I was building fence and just driving slow with the windows down and, and the thermometer was reading 120 plus. You'll cook at 120. We wear two hats. We use our, our farming hat to raise the, the feed source and then we use our, our, our cowboy or our, our cattleman's hat to raise the cattle on our, on our pasture land. Corn does not do well in the heat. So, so that, that's, a, that's a problem right there. Uh, corn does not pollinate well. That's one of our feed sources. Cattle do not do well above 95 degrees. Just like you. You, you, you don't like to stand outside when it's 95 degrees. Uh, there's no difference in a cow and you. Cattle numbers are down. Uh, cow herds are going down daily. Thus, we're losing cargills, packing plants. Uh, it's just, there's not enough cattle to keep them open. These communities are drying up. The tax base is drying up. When the Cargill plant closed, we lost 2,200 jobs instantly, so that was 10% of our population. When I drive by that plant and I see that empty parking lot, it just reminds me of how many jobs were lost, how many people were affected, how it affected our business. You know, some people say this is the new normal, that this is what we're going to start seeing all the time. If we get rain, it will be lucky. But we can't adapt. There's no question about it. We may not get our first choice, but we can adapt. We're going to need the brightest of the bright to meet the challenges. It's going to be tougher to do this in the next 20 years than it was to get to the moon.